figured I'd make a quick little video today. This might be the last flight on my Fresh Breeze Top 80. Someone's supposed to be come looking at it tomorrow. If they don't get it, it's for sale. So we're gonna fly it one last time. This will be the first time flying it with the Speedster 3. So we'll see how this launch goes because the uh, Top 80 doesn't climb so quick. So I might have to run my ass off to get off the ground. Do have a little bit of a breeze. It's not in a good wind direction, so my runway is actually over there. I'm gonna try and inflate here, get off the ground, then hook around, go out the runway to climb out. Taking a drink for the road. Or, I guess not for the road. For the sky. I've got a full tank of gas. It's already primed up. One pool. This thing's always run pretty good. This was my second motor that I ever got. And it was a big improvement over the 80s technology that I was previously running. If you're seeing this video, that means the inflation worked and I had enough power to climb out. That's my only concern with this little wing and this little power. It's just not having a not having good lift, you know? kind of gone off on his own now we're gonna cruise around here a little bit I'd like to get at least two hours in tonight I filled up the tank I want to use it let's have some fun all right a little update been flying for about an hour motors been doing awesome Dylan's down here I don't know if you can see him turn around he's down there chilling I'm not sure what he's doing the plan ended up being he wanted to fly to his house and land and he'll come back for his truck later that was over in Mechanicsburg we'll see I'll come back with an update in a minute all right so we have made it to Dylan's destination he's planning on landing here in this little field selling this paramotor I've owned this thing for a long time but it was only my primary paramotor for maybe a year it's always been a backup just sitting there when the other ones have issues this one always works runs smooth it's quiet it just doesn't climb very fast 
makes it tough to fly from my house because it's it's such a tight spot I gotta climb really quick to get out safely this thing leaves no margin for error I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna replace it with if I do sell it I will get another motor as my secondary motor I'm not sure if I want a second Monster 185 or something with uh, maybe an Atom 80. I'm not sure. Never really flown around this quarry. For my job, I actually do work at this quarry sometimes, but uh, I've never flown over it. I, I don't think I realized there was such a big pit back here. Alright, well I'm about an hour and a half into this flight. I'll probably cut the video till I get home and land. Catch up with you then. Alright, I guess I'm out of gas. <laughs> I just made it home. Grass is going to be super slippery. Hopefully I don't eat shit. Yeah, it's real slippery. <laughs> well, that was a good time to run out of gas. Right over my landing strip. <laughs>